Hey guys, I'm Fabian. Uh, I'm here to talk today to talk to you about how to get a little bit better playing Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, it's very difficult to talk about getting better as an individual player in this game because everything really depends on your team. Uh, we're gonna head into Border today. It's one of the most straightforward maps in the Pro League rotation. And I'm gonna show you how to go through a bit of operator selection, a bit of how to think when you play the game and a bit of how you should attack. So right now I'm loading into the game. Uh, what a few of the things you have to think about when you start this game, we're gonna start on the attacker side, uh, is what operators you need to select. In this game, the game doesn't really start when you start the drone phase. It starts straight away from the get-go of what you do. In this game, you kind of want to play a few different sort of operators with different sorts of styles. You need a hard breacher, you need a soft breacher, you need a gadget denial, and after that, you kind of have the plus one for whatever fits your team. And with plus one operators, I'm talking about nade operators, I'm talking about ying, I'm talking about montage, pretty much whatever you want to play with in your playstyle. If they're defending the most common bomb site in this map, which is armory and archives, what you would like to do is to attack security first of all. Taking over security is extremely important because that's kind of the get-go to everything and you cut off the rotations in the middle. What I'm going to show you now is with a breach you can actually hold the entirety of all rotations and you can decide from where to go. You breach the break room wall which is going to be shown in the video and all of a sudden you have the control of the hallway and their rotations in and out of armory. When you've taken control of the hallway and you have your rotations, you need to start droning. What you need to figure out is pretty much where the, their breach denial player is playing. If he's playing in archives, well, then your best bet is to, is to go armory because he can't deny your breach. And if he's playing in armory, your best choice is, well, obviously to go archives. It's very difficult for them to deny anything if you're holding the guy from running back to the other bomb site. We fast forward a little bit and here we're gonna breach Armory. We, we're pretending that their bandit or Kaid is playing inside archives or inside the big office. And all we do is breach the armory wall. And all of a sudden you get pretty much free access to the bomb site. Now you have a guy still in break room holding your angle and you have the rest of your teammates pushing for an armory take. All you have to do is run inside, plant a diffuser, and the round should pretty much be over. So what you look at in a game like this, when when you've cut them off and you've decided this is what we're going to go for, this plan should be done already in prep phase. The game doesn't start when you're droning. If the game doesn't start when you actually go into the round and you start shooting each other, the round is already started in your operator pick phase. So make sure that you pick the right operators for the right job and the operators you pick, they are the ones that decide which kind of strategy you go for. No, you don't drone in and you don't check around, you don't run around and then you decide your plan. You go straight for it. Thank you for destroying my shot, boys. I will literally punch you in the face if you come close to us now. You guys st stay downstairs. Stay downstairs, go away. Your job as a defender, obviously, is going to be to counter the most simple take that the attackers can make. Again, as I said in the attack, the game starts when you pick your operators. It doesn't start when you're in the round. It starts when you pick your operators because you need to pick the best operators for the job. So right now I've set up a super simple mirror window that a lot of players on a higher level will understand why we have it there. But I'm standing inside the security room, inside the little box in the corner where I put a mirror window towards the long hallway and border. And what I'm, I wanna show with this is in, the, in attack, I showed you to take break room, reach the wall, and you have the long side of angles into the bomb site. If you play Mira here, where I'm playing right now, you can deny the door. All you have to do is step to the left, shoot a bit on the door, and the opponent will die. You have the prepared mirror window, which means that you have information before they do, and it's very difficult for them to contest you. So your job as a defender, contest the attackers, simple route, and then shut them down. Thank you guys for watching. It's very difficult for me to tell you guys how to do this properly because I'm doing this alone and you obviously need a team to be as good as you want in this game. So what you, I would like you guys to do is uh, get your friends together, play some games, have fun and start learning how to play with each other because the game is way better when you play with friends.